Welcome to Key Biscayne, Florida. This is a city just south of downtown Miami, and today we are taking a look at this luxury waterfront home in paradise. This home was originally built in 2013, but it was completely rejuvenated in 2022 with upgrades and luxury finishes. You get 88 feet of water frontage. And before we get started on this tour, I just wanna say thank you to Carmen, the listing agent, for allowing us to do this tour. And on that note, let's get started. So starting here in the driveway, this home has five bedrooms, six and a half bathrooms, just under 6,000 square feet, and it's asking a cool $20 million. As I said, we are starting in the driveway, travertine driveway, mind you, and you have these two car garages on this side. Look at the height of the garage. So if you have a tall SUV, they fit in there perfectly, and the best part is on the opposite side, another driveway with another garage. You have this like connecting walkway. So right away, you already know we're like in some tropical oasis. Step up the steps. And right away, I've just been teleported to Bali because I walk in, waterfall. I mean, who doesn't love a nice waterfall? It's just relaxing, it's peaceful. I'm starting my day coming home and leaving in a good mood. Right here, we have the front door. We're gonna head inside and we're gonna get it started with the foyer. And as you walk in, right away, it takes you straight into the sitting room. I love the height of these ceilings. This floor to ceiling window goes all the way to the top and you just got a view, like a resort. You can see the pool, the water, your boat. My God, it's like a lifestyle magazine right out there. Love it. And the best part is when you look up, you get some treats. You can see the staircase leading to the third story. It curves around the railing. Where have you seen that before? It's beautiful. You got two spots for some family heirloom chandeliers. There's speakers throughout. It's a full smart home. This is a place where you do a lot of entertaining. And then as we make our way down towards the kitchen, first thing I notice, you got some bar stool seating, but this is like the elevated version of bar stools. You have lights underneath. You have this long island and it has a waterfall finish. My God. How about this too? I love the cabinets and the appliances, how they're all covered with the same wood. So it's like you're in a tropical jungle. You got dual fridge, dual freezer. So if you have a big family, you're in heaven right over here. And speaking of big families, if you need to store food and you need a big pantry, where are you putting it? You know, you got tons of cabinetry, but we like pantries in this household. And guess what? Right over here, you got a walk-in pantry behind this door. Floor to ceiling storage, put all the sweets on top. Kids can't reach it. All the vegetables at the bottom, make them eat it. They need to grow, they need to be healthy. And as soon as we come out, on my left, we have your Wolf microwave down below, hidden right here. We have your six burning gas Wolf stove on my right with the vent above, hidden behind some more millwork, beautiful. We have your sink, it's facing the entire formal sitting room. By the way, the light fixture, are you kidding me? That's beautiful, that's amazing. And then another feature that people will like at home is two dishwashers, you know, just give it a little, little knock, it opens. And then when it's time to close it, you just push it back in. And then you have one right next to it. Perfect. As we make our way down, it's gonna take us to the formal, not so formal dining room. And I love this circular table. If you've seen any of my videos, you know I'm not a fan of rectangular tables because you get stuck with the annoying cousin, the sick uncle. You're always sitting next to them and they're like, <coughs> how's school? Nope, in the circle, everybody's in the same boat. I love that. And you know it's true, Eric, don't smile at me. And then on my right over here, we have some storage for the essentials, champagne, wine. This is where you wake up and you have a sangria in the morning. You get it right from here for the entertaining purposes. Down here, we have your ice maker, storage. This is just a place, like I said, this is where you entertain people. And then just adjacent to this room, we have your TV room, nice and open. You have a sectional going across, a couple tables, your TV in this corner, but the, my favorite part of the views you get. On the left, on my right, you have access to your backyard, your pool area, and you can see the water, you can see the, the pool, you have some chairs out here, your summer's kitchen's gonna be right out on my right. This place isn't missing a single thing. 
Before we head outside, I do want to finish this first floor, so follow me. Just over here, we have your half bathroom. This black slate sink, it's beautiful. The wooden frame in the mirror, sensational. Future. Down on my left over here, we have your laundry room, access to your garages. There's a bedroom over there, could be a staff bedroom. And so when we make our way back to the formal sitting room, it's gonna take us directly outside. We're gonna take these doors over here. And so before I talk about this outdoor dining room, I wanna show you this room that they just have right over here, access only from the outside. You slide it open and you have an office or a potential guest bedroom. You have a bathroom on that side. This is actually a Murphy bed queen size that comes down. Would love to call this my office um, one day. Just watch more of my videos, subscribe. Don't forget to the like button and we'll get there. And I'll do a house tour of my own home. But let's head back outside. As we make our way further down, boom, another place to just sit. And you'll notice with the position of all the chairs, what the goal in mind is here, people. It's facing out. It's enjoying your resort style backyard. That little like sound of nature in the distance, exceptional. You have some places out here where you can just hang out, lounge. It just, there's so many spots for it. The ceilings are super high, fans above, and the architecture of this is just something that you don't get to see very often, especially here in Miami. There's one kind of look, this house is its own look. You know, yard space, it's faux grass, but you do have spots where you can play some sports, let the dogs run around, it's pretty ideal. And then as we make our way down onto this wooden platform, you can get a better visual of it, of your yard. You can see the entrance where the TV room was. You can see where the second story is, the landscaping in here. You got your infinity edge pool. It's got a nice deep finish, a couple lounging chairs out here, the umbrella. This is a spot that you pay $1,500 for at Strawberry Moon in Miami, and you're getting out in your backyard for free. All you have to do is pay $20 million for the house and you got it. And then just over here, making our way around, waterfall pool on one side. We have your deck over here, some more loungers, your boat's parked up. Listen, you buy this house, you're throwing parties every day. You're calling Jason Matuk, he's a star of the show. Oh my God, is that Jason from YouTube? Yeah, that's gonna be the vibes, it's gonna be really nice. And the, another bonus of this house is if you get on your boat, there's no going through the canals, waiting for a bridge to go up. That's where you go. And then you're free. You're out in the open, sailing, seeing the world of Key Biscayne, just an incredible place. Let's head back inside. We still have the second floor and the third floor to take a look at. Don't leave me just yet. Hit the subscribe button, refill your drink. I'll see you in a second. And so we're gonna take the stairs to get to the second floor. And I just wanna talk about them a little bit. When's the last time you've seen a staircase not only floating, but with no rail? I mean, you have to have some pretty intelligent kids because my, if I had kids, I'd be flying off this thing all day long. But it has no rail, so you can just hop on wherever and just head up to the second floor just like that. It's kind of, it feels risky in like a hot way. It's like, okay, stairs, go off. <laughs> Follow me. And on the way to the second floor, there's a balcony. So I should mention this, in almost every room of the house, there's like one to two balconies. This one is just like a mid-stair balcony. Don't ask me what it's for, I love it though. You got the waterfall you can hear, you can see the whole driveway. Maybe it's like to greet your guests, like, hey guys, come up here, the party's over here. I don't know, I'm not the one with the $20 million house, you are. Follow me up. And it takes us into this upstairs den style room. So while up here, you can still see into the water. And this was what we saw from the first floor, this spiral staircase leading to a mystery third floor. Main suite is gonna be down there. We're gonna save that for the end. I wanna take you down over here, show you some guest bedrooms first. So down my right, we're gonna have the first one. Got this nice bed, you got tons of space. And of course, as I just said, Every room has about two balconies in it. This is balcony number one. So you come out here, get this little rocking chair. Hopefully it can support my weight. Yeah. And this is just the guest bedroom terrace slash balcony. There's another one, believe it or not. Into here, huge walk-in shower, got your sink, but this is access to that balcony. 
I'm gonna save going out there for when we get to the second bedroom because they actually connect. But one thing I wanna point out is this privacy frost. This isn't condensation, people. I know Florida is humid as hell, but like this is actually just design. It's so that when you're naked, you could just do your thing, not to worry about your neighbors. You know? And to be fair, I can't see a single neighbor's window from here. So pretty much this is just for your own mental. You know, don't worry about it. Do your thing. Anyway, into the next guest bedroom. Walking across. This is the typical bedroom you've seen at Ron John surf shop. Just a bunch of surfboards, some blue, some wood. I feel like I'm 10 years old again. And my mom's like, check your room out. I just redid it. You know, same vibes. Got the bed dead center. Once again, another balcony. Before I talk about that one, same as the last bedroom, your ensuite leads to another balcony. So you have the huge shower, the huge bathroom, and then right here, you pop this open, and now you can see it. Look at this. This whole thing is a shared balcony between the bathroom. Just over here. I mean, this man's got chairs. I think the kid's about 10 years old. Look at these chairs. He's an adult. Pop this open and step out and check this out. Two chairs, this like the wood finish out here is incredible. Overlooking the water and the pool, I mean, this this could be the main suite if it wasn't for the Ron John themed room. Uh, but on that note, I think we should make our way towards the main suite. Uh, so I can show you that. You'll see the difference. You'll see what makes a main suite a main suite. So as we walk down to this side, this whole wing is all of the main suite. Come inside and look at this king size bed and you click one button shade not just any shade black out shade so as this comes down I'm gonna wait for it while we're waiting for this it's time to watch tv you're like jason what no tv really brother i'm gonna show you take your remote click it boom tv comes up tv comes up shades go down mood is set put a little roaring fire on this Name your kid Jason? Dude, that's crazy. I went crazy just now. We'll make our way actually to the ensuite before I take you out on that balcony. We have the incredible ensuite. You know, tons of space, two sinks, the vanity. And look at the size of this walk-in shower. Are you seeing this? Huge. Yeah, the rain head above, there's a seat. It's just incredible. But one thing I want to point out that I've not seen in many bathrooms is this full length balcony it goes from one side to the other and it's got that frosted glass going through the middle so in this one for sure you need that just so your neighbors don't see anything all they see is you loving they don't see the, the parts i mean <laughs> did that just come out of my mouth <laughs> that was nuts <laughs> that, that was... all right ready come further down we have the closet I want to show you a very special feature in this big closet is that the closet has a balcony so this room has three balconies look at this boom a third balcony out here this one looking over the front just like the guest bedroom for the little girl it's insane and now I have to show you the final balcony the final space in this house which is the main suites balcony looking over the water and the pool. That one's incredible. Take you over there. Making my way downtown. <laughs> Why do I always think that when I say it? Making my way to the balcony. Pop this door open, check this out, people. Look at this. The balcony to end all balconies. Privacy, a view. I mean, this place is incredible. This entire home is incredible. And we're still not done. We have to go now back inside to the third floor and I'm gonna show you the views from the very top floor and what's up there. And here we are. We're gonna take this art piece of a staircase now to the third floor. I don't even know what's up there. I lied, I haven't even been up here yet. No, that was a lie, I have been up here. Let's go see it together. Do I have ADHD? Coming now to the third floor. My legs are sore for no reason. Haven't been to the gym in two weeks and here we are. Got balconies on both sides i told you that this builder has like an obsession with balconies i'm not complaining are you don't complain boom places to sit 
like a little kitchenette looking thing. You got some drink coolers and a fridge. You even have a full bathroom up here. So this could be like the favorite child's top floor oasis of a room. But the way they have it situated is like the balcony over here facing the front, incredible views leading towards a little TV sitting room. This is really cool, um, especially if you have younger kids. And then out here, the final balcony people, this is it. There's no more balconies after this, I promise. Step out. Incredible. Looking over the world. Not really, just like some of Key Biscayne. But when you come over here and I look down, I see the open bay, I see the water. I mean, what more do you ask for? What, are you crazy? There's nothing more you can ask for. So on that note, I would just like to say thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button. Tell your friends about it. If you're looking to buy or sell a home, my information's in the description. And I hope to see you at the next one. I love you. I care about you. I care about you more than any other YouTuber cares about their audience. That's a fact. And I'll see you at the next one. Have a good day.